In today's episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're gonna do all three labyrinths and get the Barbarian Armor Set. Here we go. What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and as we kick off today's episode, we are celebrating the fact that the first episode has over 10,000 likes, thanks to you guys, so thank you so much. It almost has half a million views. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over here and uh, see, we're going to capture this area, get a map made. My friend Ninja Marion insists that I do the, the, uh, the mazes, and uh, I think I saw another maze up there, um, like up in here somewhere. Like, I don't know. I saw it, like, as I was walking in, like, this big square building. We know there's there's one over here. He says to do this one last. He also said there's there's one near Lake Hylia, I guess, like, over in this corner somewhere. Maybe all the way down here. I don't even know where it is. Uh, but he says it's near here. Just kind of go this way. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if it is. And if I do all those, apparently I, I get a really cool armor set. So I'm going to capture the tower first before doing that. Uh, the tower is just over here. Um, and then, yeah, maybe we'll get a really cool armor set. That'll be great. Hey, let's bring in my friend, my pal, Wolf Link. Where is he? There he is. There we go. Hey, little, little eye wolfie. All right. Chill shroom. Of course it's a chill shroom. That's what's going on here. It's all chill. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Don't do it. Goodness gracious. Help me get the heads, Wolf Link. Wolf Link, help get the heads. I'll get it. Boom! Got it. Man, what are you doing over there? You're just getting whoever. A lot of monster parts here. Very cool. You know, I haven't seen uh, Kilton since I've done the third one. So who knows what kind of monster parts are laying around for us. Uh, or what, not monster parts, but who knows what kind of uh, monster things are for sale right now. Just gonna go attack that dog. Get it. Nice. Dog fight. I love it. Uh, oh, there's a shrine way over there. Did I already mark that one? I may have marked that one. That might be what is marked, but I'm gonna mark this too. Maybe it's two separate ones, I don't know. But like I said, my priority is getting this uh, tower so we have uh, the area mapped out. It is very, very chilly over here. But we're good, right, little Wolf Link? There's an ice, you know, these guys. I'm gonna try. Darn, I missed. Wolf Link, get him. Get him, Wolf Link. I got him. My royal bow is badly damaged. Come on. The ice key swing. Who knows what we're going to need those for. But those things are... Uh... Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a little... It's like a little blue fox. Or something. Or a dog. <laughs> Wolf Link, good job, buddy. <laughs> he just kills everything. He doesn't care. We got some icy prime meat. I guess it froze on the ground. I don't know if that was intentional. I mean, if that was just how, it's, how it goes. Let's see over here. Hey, buddy. Get him. Get him. I missed. Darn. Man, he is going all out chasing down that moose. Man, my wolf is... Yeah, he's, he's giving up. He's like, I can't do it. I th I'm glad he doesn't get cold. I don't have any dog clothes. This game doesn't give you dog clothes. But yeah, so maybe I'll get a new set of armor by the end of this episode. I don't really know how long it's going to take to do these mazes. And uh, but and this is my first, you know, stop over here is to capture this area. I love how this game has so many different environments. It's so cool. What the heck is going on over there? Some sort of statues or something. Hey, guys. What's up? Boom. Gotcha. Oh, that was just one hit. Oh, it, they, the other ones froze. My goodness. All right. Like I said, we're on a path. I would like to get here as quickly as possible, so let's do it. I don't know what's going on over there. This does look interesting. Hey, don't mess with me. <laughs> so you're a bird? There's no way a bird's over here. What is this moose lodge thing? Look at these moose. Look at the moose guy. Oh, my God. What the heck is this place? You've made some beautiful sculptures. Wolf Link, don't attack them. They might be our friends. Oh. 
Hail, kiddums. Nice to meet a fresh face in these parts. It's not every day I get company this high in the hills. Can't give you a warm welcome, but how about a game I made up? Snowball bowling, or I call it snowling. I'll try it. Ah, the sweet music of yes. There's a catch, though. One game costs a cool 20 rupees to play. Still up for a round? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. play bells are ringing. I gotta set up the pins, but I'll be back in a flurry. All right, let's see what this is all about. The little mini game that they've put over here. Haven't been this way before. Oh. This is a snowball you'll use. It might not look like much, but it's snow joke. You get two rolls, knock them flat. You can knock over 10 pins and one roll, there's a strike. Only the most uh, notorious bowlers can pull it off. Look at his puns. It spares when you, it takes uh, both tries to finish the job. Not as good as a strike, but nothing to sneeze oh. at. Well, good luck. So, how do I do this? Wolf Link, you're, Wolf, Wolf Link this is your fault. If I mess this up, Wolf Link, yeah, this is, okay, here we go. Wish me the best. Okay, I don't think I get to control this at all. Yeah, okay, good job. Zero, yeah. Throw left, make it count. Okay, I'll try. I'll try, I mean, I don't have any idea how this course is laid out, so let me try one more time. I don't wanna necessarily, uh, you know, spend a bunch of rupees playing this game, though. And I do wonder if I can, uh, here we go. Like I said, throw left. Let's see. I mean, we're still ending up with kind of the same thing. One pin. Yeah! <laughs> All right. One pin. There we go. All right. Not as easy as it looks. Nope, it's not. Thanks for not insulting me, though. <laughs> All right. Yep. 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 I get it. I'm going to go into your house. So, what do you think about the give you one more world? I've lost interest. No problem. I love the pins too much to ever leave. You bet your snowball. I'll be here when you're ready for more. I'm going in your house. That's what I'm doing. Got a nice warm place to cook. Some booze on the counter. That's all you need. All right, I don't necessarily want to do that a whole bunch. I do wonder what happens when you get it. I might try to do mini games like in a future episode. I don't know. I, I, I just don't have a lot of gems to spend right now. I'm kind of low on gems after spending so much on all this armor and stuff. But I just kind of want to get this tower, then, oh man, there's another one way over there. I just want to get this tower and then get on with it. What is this all about? See, the beauty of this is I can actually climb up the tower pretty quickly with, this is the Hebra Tower. Uh, I can actually do this, this is really cool. Uh, forget the ice. Forget the ice, my friends. I think it make, I can maybe climb the rest of this. See, this is a this is a good way to do it, right? Just climb it like this. Excellent. Anyone up here? You know what? I bet I could do the flying challenge by first launching off and then gliding. That'll be so cool. I might actually try that. But we got the Hepper region mapped out. There's like a waterfall over there. Are you kidding me? You think it's frozen? I don't even know. Let's take a look at the map. All right, scanning area. Come on, plop down. Plop down in my Sheikah Slate. There is a waterfall over there. Beautiful. I'll probably freeze to death though. Okay, so I think those that marker I did is uh, is not so much um, one. I mean, not two, but one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to look for if the maze was here. There is a maze here. Okay, so I guess we'll go do this maze um, and then try to find the maze to to the south or whatever. Maybe even do a shrine. Uh, let's just focus on the mazes. We can always come back later. So, hold on. If the maze is over there, let's fast travel here. That's going to be the quickest way to do it. And then I don't even know what to really expect in these mazes. But we'll find out. Here we go. You can run down smaller monsters atop by galloping your, by, uh, atop your galloping steed. Okay. You know, I wonder if I can use the map to do the maze. 
Like, I wonder if the map shows the maze solution, you know what I mean? Like, if I can just look at it. Let's see. Uh, looks like I can. Wow, okay, so... <laughs> the map is great. Uh, so if we go in here... Let's figure out immediately if I want to go left or right. If I go left, I can kind of glide around here. Oh, wait, but the question is, how do I get into it, actually? Oof. Good point. I don't know. Let's just go over to it. You know, I wonder if I can use my jumping ability to solve the maze. Am I going? I'm facing the wrong way, aren't I? That's fine. So we'll go backwards. All right. Is this the right way to the maze? Mostly. This way is. Okay, so there's the snowfield stable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need Wolf Link. If I'm going to be here, I need Wolf Link. Wolf Link, where are you, buddy? Come to this plane of existence. Whoa. My bow broke. Uh, let's use a knight's bow. Sure. Go get him, Wolf Link. We're going for him. I mean, he is just running. Thankfully, this way is the... Oh, <laughs> Oh, good job, Wolf Link. Wow. Oh my goodness. Nice. Just going... <laughs> what a coward. He just ran. Oh my goodness. I didn't want it to freeze. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Wolf Link, get him. Oh jeez. Nice job. I'll go get this one. Ow. Whatever. Holy goodness. Oh man, he sure jumped at me. <laughs> Cut him down. Alright, good job. Now, here's the problem. I don't think I have enough food. I forgot to cook before doing this episode. So we should really consider eating some of these uh, some of these foods that we have here. This one is, oh boy, um, mm, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I didn't bring enough. I wish I would have. Here, let's eat this thing. That's probably good enough. I got my defense up a little bit. So up over that mountain is the maze. We got some frozen meats here. I see meat. Go get him. All right. Got to remember to uh I got to remember to do um I forgot what I got to remember. Oh. Gotta remember to conserve my uh, my abilities here. I don't actually want to use it if I can maybe use it to scale the maze wall, you know? So let us see what these mazes... <laughs> Wolf Link is just taking out some animals right now. I wonder if it's going to get even colder up here. I hope not. I don't want to suffer. So we marked that one. All right, what can I use to bash open? Oh, bombs, bombs. I always forget I have bombs. So let's switch over to bombs really quick. Oh my God, what the heck happened behind me? What was that? I see prime meat. Goodness gracious, that freaked me out a little bit. Whoop, whoop. Messed up. Don't worry about it, Wolf Link. What? Oh man. Okay, not so bad. Rock salt and flint. 
You know what? I don't care too much. Let's just go. Like I said, I hope it doesn't get even colder up here. Oh boy. So we still, it's over this mountain is the maze, right? So hopefully I can just glide right down to it. And you know, I don't know how much I want to search for treasure in the maze. If the whole point is to get some arm, oh, look at that guy up there. Stasis that guy, right? <laughs> Great. He was keeping watch. I don't know what he was doing, but he was keeping watch. And I got him. What the heck? These guys are easy, I guess. Oh, wow, okay. White choo-choo jelly, I've never seen that before. But you see a lot of stuff here that you haven't really seen before. When you start exploring new climates. It's taken me a long time to get here. I wish there was a better way to get to this maze. And maybe there was, I just don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna fight him for me. I don't really need the meat. If he's gonna charge at me, so be it. So the maze is over here, huh? Just kind of got to trust that it's over here. I might just try to glide to it. I'm going to ignore the camp. And just try to fly right over to the maze. I see, I see it right over here. Okay, this is great. So this is my first maze to attempt. And I'm going to try to do all three in this episode. And I don't know if there's any real benefit... Like, I, I, I don't know if there's anything else out here. Well, Flink returned to his own world. That's fine. It sure is getting hard to see, though. There's a shrine nearby. Does, it, does the maze have a shrine? That must be the case. So, I'm just going to actually probably end up on the roof of this maze, which would be great. North? Oh, Labyrinth. I'm sorry. Labyrinth. That's the proper term. Oh, and there is a shrine in there. Okay. Uh, okay. So, is there... Oh, man, this is a, some tall walls. Um... Do you think I can climb? I don't think I can climb those walls. Let me do uh, this boost really quick. So I can't drop in through the top. But I can put myself like over here. Oh, geez, watch out for that. I can put myself like over here, just drop into the maze like a little bit. I don't know if this is the path, but. You who have reached this point, proceed onward towards through the maze and you receive a blessing as a reward. Ooh, okay. Hmm, maybe not the best place to drop down. So let's just try to do it like the, the way it might want us to. a maze all right and there is a shrine at the maze hey dang ow got him all right so he was just kind of hanging out there. So you do have kind of a kind of a look at this. What is that? Hunter's shield. Nice. I haven't seen that before. Uh, let's take a look. I mean, I don't know. Um, I 
Let's do variety here. Here we go. Meteor rod. Ooh. All right. Uh, let me eat something, I guess. I really should have brought some food. Some cooked food. See what kind of armor stuff I have. This one looks good. That's a lot of defense. Let's do it. I don't want to. It's only three minutes of defense. Got him. Why is it shimmering? Oh man, don't, don't call any more in. What the heck are you guys doing? Why would he do that to me? He's so rude. Oh man. There's a treasure here. There's also a shrine. I don't know how to get to it, but... Steel, Lysel bow. There's a... Okay, there's this. Edge of duality. I mean, I'm so full on everything. What the heck do I need to do? This, almost, this, this one's almost done. I guess I could ditch this. Grab the edge of duality. Yeah, it's broke. Okay, there we go. That's critical hit. Steel Lysel bow, though. What would I rather get rid of? Knight's bow. Let's get rid of this dragon. Let's get the steel Lysel bow. It's new. So yeah, I don't fully know what this uh, this maze is all about. You know, like how, which way is the solution? That's the part that I'm having trouble understanding. Meteor rod. I mean, I only have two minutes to my defense up. Hey! Wake up! Ugh. Ow. Rude. He threw his spear at me in close quarters. So crazy. You know, I could dress as Lizalfos. Liz that would be really funny, but my cold... I, don't, I think I need the cold protection a little bit more. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out the way to uh, into this maze. Like, what's the overall point? I know that this is a dead end. Oh, I can climb. Okay, well, this is actually really useful, but I don't, I gotta know where to go. I don't, I don't even know where to go. And that's one of the, oh, wow. There's a treasure here. Nope, I thought it was. What the heck? It looks like Oh, freaking God! Oh my God. Rude. You scared me. Jeez Louise. Wow, that was really frightening. Okay. So yeah, as I've said, I don't quite know what I'm doing here. You think I can use this? Here we go. Nice. Please climb. So yeah, the problem for me is I just don't know where I'm supposed to be with this maze. And I don't even think I can. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can reach it. So it's like there's all this blight here. Oh, here we go. Shoot this guy. Maybe that'll clear it up. Let's see if it clears it up. Oh, that did. Wow. There's still this. This is behind a, a gate. And I don't quite know why or what to do about it. All I know is that it's behind a gate. 
So what's the point of the maze? I do have to kill like every enemy in the maze? Like, is there a switch? Like that part, I don't know. So it really is a kind of a mystery to me on how to do this because I don't know where in the world this could be. Oh, here's a treasure. Oh, wow, a gold rupee, nice. Okay. Let's see, I can't go that way. Let me go all the way through here again. I don't really know. But part of this is that you're not, I, I think they're gonna be paths that you can't see if they're blocked down from, from the top, you know? So the top may not be the be all end all of this maze here. Cause what you might happen is you might have tunnels here where from the top it looks like it's a wall, but you there's actually a tunnel. Instead of maze, use the word labyrinth, Zach. It's a labyrinth. The heck is this? This is a place for me to warm up, I guess. If I need to, I don't need to. So you have the meteor rod. Oh, look. Who would have known? Now I know, but who would have known? See what I mean? They might look like a wall, but. Oh, but it's already still. It, it is a wall, basically. Oh, what the heck? This is quite the mystery, how to get in these things. I don't know. Huh, okay, yeah, so this is definitely puzzling. Uh, you guys are here with me witnessing this for the first time. So please don't be too harsh. Let me go back up. All right, I'm gonna use this as a stamina refresh. And then we're gonna keep climbing to the top. Glorious maze. Now, hold up. Yeah, so this looks like a dead end already, right? But surely there's a way. Oh, this is lit up. Exciting. Oh dear, yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of me going down there, I, I think this is crucial. Perfect. Man, did I blow, blow up choo-choo jellies? Yep. Darn it. <laughs> Who cares if I blew up choo-choo jellies? Yellow choo-choo jellies are mine. I guess I did blow them up. So what the heck is this? Oh, here we go. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, it's a treasure. Night sh See, I don't need that. What the heck? Okay, so I just found a treasure is all. But with that said, let's uh, go up here. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a shrine. Okay, so we've actually found it. Wow, okay. So let's go in and see if this is all that we need to do or if like the shrine itself is another part of this. Who knows? 
So that's really cool. This one wasn't so bad. This maze, this try, this labyrinth. It was amazing. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, it looks like I actually have something to do here. Nope, I'm fine. Just being here, I'm awesome. All right, barbarian leg wraps. Ooh, attack up. These leg wraps were favored by a warlike tribe from the Farren region long ago. They're adorned with traditional markings that bolster your fighting spirit to raise your attack power. Excellent. So there we go, guys. Yeah, we did do uh, another maze. Very cool. I mean, not another maze. we did get another piece of armor. Very cool. So if there's going to be armor in each one of these, then I'm pretty excited about doing this, especially attack up. Because if you have, like, three attack ups or whatever, if you have, like, some sort of synergy that gives you even more attack ups, it's going to be really cool. And depending on how long this takes, I mean, I don't know how long this is going to take, but this is fun. So let's see what we got. So the other maze is supposed to be down to the south, and I haven't fully explored that area yet. I bet you anything that's where Gerudo area is, because I know we need to go there to do, like, the next Divine Beast. But, uh, because it wasn't up here, and I can't think of really any other places to explore, so... There we go. It's now open. I don't know if there are any other treasures here that are, like, totally worthwhile. Um, I'm not going to focus too much on treasure right now. I'm happy to have gotten just a maze. So one thing I want to do before we leave, I want to cook. Uh, I, I want to cook, and I want that. What that means is I'm going to go basically to. Come on. Yeah, I think there's only like one. I'm going to remove this one. So we have two shrines here we could do, um, but I need to cook. I need to go to a Hatino village and cook. The reason why I like this one is because it's covered from the rain. It's a good place to cook overall. And, um, you know, I'm just going to show you, but basically, like, you just take the hardy stuff, you cook it, you have full health plus four. And that's a really great place to be. And, um, you know, it, it goes boom, boom. It's a really good place to be. Let's see. We'll see what, what happens. Come on. Okay, let's get to cooking. And if it's not marked, I can just shoot a fire or, or not lit. Diwali's like Gale is now ready. Thanks, Diwali Gale. If it's not lit, I can just you know. If it's lit, it's not lit. Whatever. So all I do basically is uh, I just go the fire arrow route. Why not? It's the easiest one. Don't whistle. Okay. This is the easiest for me. Boom, you do it. You're safe. And then uh, now you just, so this is like all I do for real. Like, well, first up, I hear that um, if you t if you do, um, if you do like five of these, like you don't really need these, but if you do like five of them and cook them, you can sell them for a lot. So if you hold, Let's see, so cook just five of those. Let's see how it goes. Meat skewer, that's a lot of hearts. But we'll see how much we can sell that for. Right now, I'm just gonna hold this and cook it. And I'm gonna do maybe like five of these total. I think that'll be enough health for me to take on these mazes, just in case things get really dire. Uh, but it's pretty just straightforward. Just do this and cook like five times. Not a big deal. And then I'll try to find someone to see how much that meat skewer sells for. Because the hearty simmered fruit's good. And all I got to do is go back to that place that I've marked. I mean, full health plus four is great. Like, each and every time. And that's if you don't have fairies, you know. Fair well, fairies don't, don't give you full health. I mean, that's, that's if you don't have Mipha's grace. So, let's do one more after this. And I think I'll have enough to really move on. I should have a lot more on me, but... You know, we're trying to kind of blaze through this a little bit. There we go. Cook it. That's enough for health. There we go. So just out of curiosity, let's see if anyone's going to buy that meat skewer from me. And if so, for how much? That's five of those meats. And I have a lot of those meats. I, you know, I'm often just getting meat as I'm walking around. So uh, let's see what happens if we... To sell. She's over here. That's right. She's hiding. 
She's so devious yeah. looking. Anyway, I'm here to sell. Uh, here we go. Thank you for waiting. Uh, yeah, that's what we'd like to sell. That's a good point. What would I like to sell? Here we go. Let's sell. Uh, where'd it go? The meat skewer, wherever it is. There it is. It's just the meat skewer I made. That's for two ten. So like, like I said, this that's a great deal. So yes, please sell that. Great. How much are those? The icy ones? I mean, those are okay. Baked crab, baked. You know, I can eat some of those later. No, I'm good though. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sort everything, and then I'm gonna fast travel, uh, probably down here to the lake tower, and I want to see if I can see the maze from here. If not, I'm just gonna keep traveling in that direction and see where we go. And, uh, you know, that the, the maze went pretty well last time. Uh, that was a good one to do. I'm not going to need all this gear. I don't know what kind of gear I'm going to need for this. I might, if there are guardians, I could, you know, wear the ancient gear. I could wear, like, a mix. I could, if I already have my attack up and those legs, I could wear one of the legs and then two of something like climbing. Who really knows? But let's find out. The barbarian set's supposed to be really good. And then I can see what it takes to upgrade it a couple levels to level two at least. Um, so, yeah, there's that shining hill. So which way, which way would it be? That's, so if there is a maze, it would be over that mountain. All right, let's do it. Let's go. This is an area that I haven't really been to a lot. And there is a tower over there, so I can maybe even capture that tower while we're going this way or afterwards or something. I don't know. I wish you could charge uh, Diwali's Gale like up here. That would be so cool. Is that a, like a little? Let's see if don't land, don't land, Zach, don't land, don't land, don't land. Yes, we're gliding over. This is so cool. I want to do this in real life. I'm probably gonna use the Gale to get where I need to be going, more so than anything else. And, oh, there's a dragon again. I could go get a scale from him. Or I could just leave it. Just leave it for now. I don't need dragon scales at the moment. I mean, I'm going to eventually need dragon scales for certain upgrades, but uh, I'm not ready for that yet. I'm here to do the mazes. The labyrinths. I keep calling them. The maze is like, I don't know what the difference really is, but... Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! If these guys are, guys are gonna harass me, no thank you. It's a beautiful looking mountain, and uh, I could try to put on my climbing gear. Let's do that. Let's put on my climbing gear, because uh, I do have that kind of upgraded nicely. Um, and that way, uh, if it does get cold, I'll switch it out. And it might get cold. It really might. I think it will get cold, in fact. So let me... <laughs> I don't know. I think it will. Oh, it's raining. Please, no storms. Please. There's, like, nice little plateau areas. And on the way, you know, I can maybe lo try to locate some sort of uh, shrines. I don't see any shrines right now. Okay. Well, here we go. Not a big deal. This will really help with my stamina. I'm just always on the lookout for shrines or any sort of, like, oddly shaped things. Oh, it's raining, isn't it? Not anymore. Okay, good. Gosh, I think I just got out of the rain, like just barely. All right, come on now. Let this uh, soak in. Maybe it won't be cold. Maybe this is like gonna be such a, a warmer area or something. I don't know. Let's let this soak in. Here we go. This is a nice looking area. It does look like it's gonna get cold up there though. So with that said, let's just keep. Oh God, nope, nope. That's a uh, an enemy. 
I don't really want to fight right now. So, here we go. Stone Talus. See you later, Talus. Stone Talus. Goodness gracious. Hope he can't hit me from here. That would really be annoying. It says shrine nearby. I don't know where. Let's see if there, let's see if there's a maze in this area. I really hope there is, because if there's not, I'm gonna have to edit out a lot of this video, because this is a lot of exploration for no reason. Yeah, it's getting colder. Uh, so yeah, I will put on my uh, my gear. The climbing stuff last worked while well it lasts. I kind of wish there was like a quick switch between this gear stuff. Are there any shrines nearby? See, we're not that far from where we were. Uh, this is just an area I hadn't gone to yet. Okay. Well, now we're, we're definitely entering the new area. I wonder if this is the Gerudo section. Oh, yeah. I can't climb as well. But I think we can make it up here. This is just wolves. I say just wolves, but they can probably take me out. It's still not cold. I thought it was going to be cold. I saw well, there's like snow kind of in the air. Well... I thought it was going to be cold. This looks like cold, right? I mean, this looks like freezing. And you know, it probably it probably is cold. Yeah, I think it's going to be cold. Yeah, look, my temperature just dropped. New areas, new places to explore. I'm going to see if maybe the maze is over here. Oh, never mind. I don't really want to fight you guys. You guys are my friends. Is ice? Well, darn it. Okay, I just keep knocking them off the hill. That means I don't get their goodies. <laughs> Alright, that's just flint and stuff. Okay, amber and flint. This has got to be the path to like, well, not like the direct path, but a path to the new area. I mean, it just seems like it, right? Like, what else would this be? I, I bet you're supposed to go from like Rito and go south, but this way seems like a definite possibility here. It is cold. That much is true. I'm glad I have my gear on. Alright. Okay, so we have some uh, new dragonflies, or maybe they're not new, maybe they're like ones that I've had already. I'm just gonna grab one or two. Oh, the cold darner. There's that, the, the spiky stuff, or not spiky, uh, pff, there is spiky stuff, but there's, let's take a look at this area over here. Yeah, there's an area that I haven't, and that must be the Divine Beast. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. I don't know where the maze is. Typically, they are on the outskirts, or at least the other two were. So let me take a look up on, the, let me get like all the way up to the top. <laughs> Then take a look around and see if I can find a maze. I really hope there's one over here. Otherwise, I don't know where it is. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's not use a bomb arrow or a fire arrow. Oh. <laughs> Stasis. There you go. Oh, he's <laughs> fell off. All right. Wonderful. Let's climb up here. Oh, <laughs> I did find you. Wow, I got a Korok seed just for picking that up. Oh, there's a shrine. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, nope. Which way are we facing? Oh, nice. Okay. So yeah, I don't see a maze. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know where it would be. I mean, I, my guess would be that, uh, you know, maybe like, w like way out there, past there, we could take a look. 
Doesn't hurt to look. It's an abandoned little hut over here. It's dilapidated. Is there a book? Is this a rumor mill? Uh, read the Mountain Peak Log. Yes. This is a log of my findings concerning the shrine that sleeps on a snowy Gerudo Peak. Discovery Log, Day 1. I come to this snowy mountain intending to find the ancient shrine that was written about in an old text. The shrine slumbers near the pedestal on a snowy Gerudo Peak. I believe I have arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the passage. Discovery Log, Day 7. It's been seven days since I arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the ancient texts. Unfortunately, I'm eating through my food provisions more quickly than I anticipated. On a brighter note, I found an explanation in the source text that may be the key to this riddle. When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. I notice a faint glow to the pedestal for a short while each day, but how to cast a cold shadow in onto its core, it seems like this calls for further research here. I've, day, I've lost count. I can feel that I'm a hair's breadth away from unlocking the secrets hidden within the pedestal. I'm certain that casting a cold refers to using a specific type of shadow, but I've run out of food entirely, and I doubt now that I ever had the tools to do the job, whatever they might be. Secret. So, like, I, it almost sounds like a, uh, I mean, like an ice wand or any number of things. And also, I don't know exactly where it is. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, when it glows... Yeah. Hmm. This is definitely interesting. I'm gonna look on the outskirts. So yeah, during a certain time, maybe attack it with a... Do I have a frozen wand at all? No. Hmm. So yeah, this is definitely an interesting piece of uh, mystery here. Not quite sure. Maybe throw a snowball at it when it glows a certain time. See, if I just discover this area with the tower, I'll be able to tell immediately where any sort of maze would be. So maybe I'll do that. I feel like I'm either like totally lost or close enough or something. Goodbye. I'm gonna get up on top of that thing and then see if there's a maze. Ooh, there's a guardian there. Holy moly. I mean, I, I'm well equipped to fight guardians. I just don't wanna waste a lot of time. I'm gonna look on the off the coast there and see if there's a maze, you know, off the ocean side or whatever. Oh my gosh, there it is. Perfect. Look at that. We found another maze. So this is going to be fun. All I got to do is get to it. And I don't have oh, I don't have the advantage of having it mapped out yet, like I said. I'm glad I traveled this far. But we don't have the area mapped out. I do wonder what this maze is all about though. The walls don't seem as high as the other one. Maybe it's maybe I'm wrong about that though. There's definitely a shrine nearby. And this area is not cold, so maybe I can put on my climbing gear. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a shrine down there. Where would be like uh, the blight? I don't know. Yeah, this place isn't mapped. Um, let me switch gear then. Let's go back to climbing gear. Let's do. Cl let's do like. Uh, oh, I already have a bunch of climbing gear. Okay, equip. I forgot I didn't equip the legs. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. We'll have a little bit of tack up with this, I guess. I don't want to just jump into the blight. Oh, 
Well, let's just go here. We'll figure this out at some point. This is the uh, the desert labyrinth. Let's look for holes in the wall. So I have a little bit of attack up, right? I mean, that's what it seems. I have like one little boost of attack up. Yeah, okay. I might as well just walk straight into this, I guess. We know there's a shrine down here, obviously. Yeah, I might as well just walk straight into this. Because that's what the, the effect was, basically, of dropping down here. But let's try this. Let's go take a look over here and see what kind of enemies we have. We do have a looks like a hole in the wall over here, and that's what I mean by like even if you had a top-down map, it wouldn't matter too much. It would help just a little bit. Yeah, so this is the blight. I just don't know how to take it out. I would like to just take it out though. There's another hole in the wall. Okay. Don't really feel a little bit lost already. It's a treasure chest already. Oh, a radiant shield. Wow. Beautiful. My inventory is full. Let's see what we can get rid of. That's a cool looking shield. Let's ditch this as steel light. Oh, let's ditch. Th what? Hunter's shield? What? I'm going to ditch this one. Uh, I don't know about, I don't know about the hunter's shield. I'm really curious about it. I don't know what it's for. It's a good shield though. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's do the let's, let's leap up here for a second. Okay. So we've been this way. So like I said, uh, let's just keep checking this out. I don't really know. I feel like there's gonna be like an underground part that I need to go to eventually. I haven't seen any enemies here. I would like—I would like to find the source of this blight, though. <laughs> if possible. I don't see any eyeballs. So I think the point of this maze is to find the source of the blight, take it out. Maybe, it's just a guess. Mm. It's a cool looking sword. Do you think I can use magnesis on it? I can. All right, bring it over. Darn it. Golden Claymore. Uh, so are there any weapons I need to ditch? How about we get rid of this weapon? This weapon's... No, I don't know. It's a cool weapon, but I don't know if I need it. Alright. All I want to do is find the source of the blight. Quite the maze here. A 
Nothing in the middle. Again, I would love to find the source, the eyeball here that I need to shoot. If there is such a thing. I almost feel like that's going to be the main goal of this, is to find the... Uh, to find the source and take it out and then we'll have free travel but I don't know much about that let's go this is a longer maze so like these mazes would be so much easier if they were just straightforward mazes <laughs> obviously but um, they're not gonna do that I, I guess they're gonna make me work for it Okay, well let's go check out. I mean, I, I guess what we gotta do is we gotta check out like each corner, basically, like each each uh, little section, until we find an eyeball or whatever that we can take out. Because otherwise, I don't know what to do. This is a long journey, so we could go at it one by one. Alright, so... Alright. So... Let's see. Um... Okay, so let, let me let me think about this for a second. So have I really been over here? Let's find out. I feel like I have. I feel like I've been over here. There wasn't much to write about. So what about this one over here? Have I been at this one over here? Let's check this thing over here. Maybe I haven't been over here. I don't know. I feel like I've been all around this though, you know? I think we're about to hit the blood moon. see any moon in the sky right now. Yeah, I don't know. Some more of the blight. This one's a bit perplexing to me because I don't exactly know where to go. But no one knows where to go. Let's just, uh... Let's just drop down here. This one looks a little more infected than the rest. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. But again, I feel like, man, this is a, see, this room looks cool. I never would have guessed, okay, what's up here? 
So yeah, I've been over here. I've been this way. So we're just gonna kind of go. This. So we're gonna think of the ways around this blight and hope that it. Hope that we can make some real progress then. No, this puts us back over here. What the heck? No. Okay. Man, this is a tough one. Um, mainly because there aren't like really any enemies, and I don't really know. Like, I need to like figure out how to start marking places off. Like, I've been here. And there's no great way to do that. So yeah, I've been in this little area. That area is shut off for no real reason. No real apparent reason. So let me, uh, let me, let's use it one more time. We'll get a recharge soon. Hopefully. So then this area, because maybe I've already been to this area. What is that? Who knows, but we gotta start thinking about ways around this because, because otherwise I don't think we're gonna be able to cross some of this stuff. Yeah, I'm just perplexed. I'm about as perplexed as I can be about this maze. Labyrinth. And, uh, you know what? I don't think I can make it all the way. I can if I just could take it slow, I guess. And maybe that's another thing. Maybe I'm not spending enough time down on the ground of this labyrinth to really get to know what it's all about. No! Oh my god, I didn't make it. God, that was a hard landing. I thought I could make it. I'll wait till I have... Uh, I thought I could make that one. Okay. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything in this area, like in this area at all, this little particular nook. We can rule out that this is one of them. So this little nook, no, it's not here. This next one may be a little more complex. Okay, let's go on the outside of the nook. The, there's definitely blight. Okay, have we been here? I'm gonna climb around this. I am so confused right now. Okay. So yeah, it almost seems like this is where I need to go. Can we round corners? We can. Okay, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I should have gone to where there was the most things lit up, and this is it. Let's try this way. I'm sorry for taking so long to figure out to go this way. So I haven't been here before. I think we're onto something. Yep. Wow. That easy? Must be. So, after this, we got one more labyrinth left, and we know exactly where uh, it's going to be. So, let's see. Let's see. So, it's going to be up there. And my friend, Engineering, tells me it's the hardest one. Yep, great. We're here. Then we get barbarian armor. And then so the next place we're going here, I mean, we got this, oh wait, no, we should definitely not fast travel out of here. We should grab the spirit orb. 
All right, so the next place we're gonna go. There we go. Next place we're gonna go. So how many do we have? We have two. We're gonna have three by the end of this, I guess. The next place we're going to go. Is where? <laughs> is up top. Because uh, we know there's a labyrinth there. And it's apparently the hardest one. So we now have a fast travel spot here. That I'm not too concerned about. But, you know, we got to explore this whole region anyway. Uh, so we're going to tr fast travel to the ancient Akala, or the Akala ancient tech lab. And then glide that way. And see what we can do, right? A little nervous, to be honest. The third and final labyrinth. Hopefully we don't have too much trouble with it. It's up over this way. Yeah, there it is. There it is. This is a good one. And we can see the shrine right there. And we actually have an overhead map of it. Man, oh man, look at it. Beautiful, right? Uh, so... Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm just going to try to glide directly to it. Oh, man, there are guardians here. Also, the wind seems to be blowing me back. Oh, my gosh. Uh, hope I can make it in. I should have stocked up on like arrows or armor or something or not. Yeah, I should have stocked up on arrows. We can always go back and buy arrows. So let me think. I might want to wear my uh, my anti guardian stuff. All right. So let's uh, let's do. Uh, let, let me switch. I have some anti guardian, or not? Yeah, I mean it is anti guardian. I have this. This is good stuff. This will keep me nice and warm and safe. There we go. And I got ancient proficiency, so... Oh my god. Okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Hold on. Let me... Can I switch to my Master Sword? Is it lit up? It's not. I do have ancient... I have Guardian Spears. This one's cool. I do have Stasis. I'm gonna be able to take this guy out. I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to master. Is it master sword? Will master sword? It's lit up. Here we go. Hi. What? Really? What do you think the gimmick is here? All right, the gimmick is you need to freeze, so I can do this. There we go. Good gimmick. He's not quite dead yet, but he will be. Got him. Easy stuff. Now that I know how to deal with them, they're easy, rather. I don't see any cores from this one, but we get a bunch of screws and whatnot. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thank you. All right, let's switch back to something else. Maybe a royal broadsword. Is it caged in? Sure seems to be. 
Well, let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm just going to start going through this maze. I know that there, there are those ones in the sky watching out for me. I hope they don't mess with me too much. Wow. What the? Oh, hi. Ow, God. I did drop the radiant shield, didn't I? Where's my sword? There it is. Also dropped the royal broadsword. Okay, so. I'm at a dead end. I need to go back and there's no nope this, there's no good way out of this one let's go back to the courtyard we will go in uh let's trace it backwards we will go in through the top <laughs> no uh that, like i said it's hard to tell right let's go in through the bottom it's hard to tell exactly since there could always be tunnels And like that's a tunnel with a dead end right there. So let's go in through the bottom one. Uh no. Which way? To the very bottom. Okay, there we go. And I'll try to like avoid anything that I seems to be a real issue here. I hope this way gets us somewhere. See that might just be a dead end. Let's check it out though. I, I'm just curious. It won't be much time. Let's check it out and see if this is a real dead end. Or if it's like, yeah, see, there's a tunnel. You never know. And the guardians are there to try to keep us out from the top. Oh yeah, see, I don't want to be this way. Let's let's go the way that we know for sure. Then we'll then we'll do flight and whatnot. Okay, so this yeah. Okay, making a bunch of moves, hanging around. I'm gonna turn left. This is the way to go. So on the far side over here on the wall. Then we just kind of keep going along this way. I just want to take a peek, make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, is that broken because I can blow it up? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I didn't know. First time seeing that. So... So yeah, magnesis for this. Not sure what I'm looking out for. Um, I mean, there's so many options here. There really are. I think now that we're up here, at least we're gonna have uh, it's gonna be a little more straightforward as to. Okay, hey buddy. Ah, thank you for blocking that. The treasure chest, what is it? Ooh, attack up 12. Oh my gosh. So hold on, let's get rid of uh, this royal broadsword then. It's like the one that has attack up 12. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to use it right now. I might save it for like a boss. So let's switch to the regular royal broadsword.
so yeah okay okay well we know if we go way around this way we can make it Yeah, we could just take a look. Is it dead end on both sides? Are there tunnels or dead end on both? That's fine. I mean, I'd hate to be stuck in here. What if you did a maze like this and you had to use the restroom? Oh. All right. What kind of treasure do we have here, huh? So nice, silver rupee. I like monetary treasures. Nice. Okay, let's uh, keep an eye out for. You know, any sort of uh, tall opening. And that's the real thing about it, is like, I don't really know. I'm not messing with you. Well, that's pretty straightforward for me. Jiminy Christmas though, okay. The question is going to be, like, how do I actually get in there? And, you know, I'm not going to know immediately. But I'm going to try to get as much of the ground cover before moving on. <sighs> Royal bow. Do I need that? I have a uh, falcon bow, a steel lysel bow. I mean, I don't think I do. Nice. I don't think I need a royal bow. So, you know, why would I not just do this? Let's see. The reason is because there are guardians up here. I think he didn't even see me. Okay, so what can we do here? I'm in the much more dangerous area, I think, if those guardians are gonna be looking after me. Uh, yeah, let's do a straight shot down this way, see if there's any, any way I can get in. There we go, Magnesis. Treasure, but treasure can be good. Um, oh, a giant, especially if it's a giant ancient core. Heck yes. I mean, this type of thing makes me feel like we're getting close. All right, let's try this over here. I mean, with it being up in the air, it's so weird. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think we're making real progress. Getting all vertical up in here. Uh, is this for fire arrows? I forget. Um... Uh, I think so.
Back to regular arrows. Let's see. See, I'm in like a whole other part of the maze that I'm not even... This is a uh, great flame blade. I guess I don't have any more great flame blades. I mean, I don't know if I need a great... I mean, I kind of want one. Let's get rid of the regular broadsword. Look at that. Okay. And it's durable. I'm going to put a uh, marker here on the map. I know that this doesn't make much sense right now. And it's going to be one of the ones that's really hard to get to. Um, but there is a weapon here. So you guys know. And it's storming now. Great. Great. This is like the worst case scenario right now. Being in a maze with lightning strikes. Thankfully, I'm, I'm inside. I'm covered by a roof of sorts. <laughs> All right. I mean, I think I'm on the right path. I am on the right path. What's over here, though? It's a drop down. Okay, we're fine. We made it. Excellent. All right. So we have an amazing... We made an amazing discovery. Let's go ahead and get our next piece of armor. And then we'll have all the armor for this set, the Barbarian, which gives me an amazing attack up advantage. So it's gonna be really, really cool. My goodness, okay. So that one wasn't so bad. I mean, I was really worried about the one, the Guardians flying around, but ultimately they weren't a big deal. Barbarian helmet. So we got attack up all the way, baby. And uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see next episode. We have a whole new Gerudo area to explore. I hear I need the, uh, the stealth gear before then, though. So there we go. We got another uh, another spirit orb. Only three this episode, but that's cool. And these count as shrines too, so that's really good. May the goddess smile upon you too. Thank you. So we do have a fast travel place here uh, where we can get a, a nice, so it's not gonna be as hard as I thought. If we ever want that great flame blade, we have a, a an amazing fast travel spot there. We also have a, an area that we know of now where we can get one of those uh, one of those uh, thunder blades up in the snow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Okay, I thought, all right, we got, uh, we can't go straight up. It's storming out. Um, So what do we wanna do? How do we wanna handle this? What's down there? Is this new? I mean, we can glide. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, what is this? Hello, guardians. Are you guys asleep? Jeez Louise, look at all of them. There's a couple treasure chests here. Oh, no, that's not a treasure chest. This one, this, this is, this looks really scary, by the way. Oh boy. Ancient gear. Okay, these guys are dead. I wonder if some of them are gonna come to life. Jeez. You know what? I bet some of these are gonna come to life. Very. Oh look, you can tell which ones are real. Here we go. 
But wait, wait, wait. Why don't I use the master sword then? Okay, got it. Nice. I can go pick these guys apart. This is cool. Hey, buddy. This is gonna be a great place to farm these if I can just travel to the shrine and come back to it, you know? They're sleeping giants, so to speak. Here we go, man. We're gonna take all these guys out. Amazing. Look at all this stuff we have here. I didn't even have to actually put him to sleep. With stasis, I could just identify them with stasis. Here's a little stationary one. Oh, that's a shame. Let's see what else we got then. Uh, this amazing guardian sword. This guardian sword is going to be my go-to here. Let's take out the big ones first then, if we're gonna have to deal with that. So this is a great place to farm, you know, if you don't, I like how the water's leaking in. It makes it really creepy. So this is gonna be a great place to farm for these guys. If uh, they, if they, if they come back, they may not come back, but if they do come back, then it's great. Whoa. 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 The sword's great for him. He's cutting off all of his legs at once. dead. Goodness gracious. And we got an ancient core. Very cool. Who else is the living one? Oh, there's one next to me. Here we go with a big strike. Dead. Nice. Okay, then let's get this guy. This guy's the only one left. I wonder if the other ones are gonna come to life if I grab that whatever the treasure is here. Dead again. Nice. This gear is great. These gears that he dropped are also great. Well, let me grab the treasure, see what this is all about. I wonder if these other guys are going to come to life afterwards. Diamond circlet, what the heck? A luxurious headpiece sold at Gerudo jewelry shops. It's decorated with a diamond, which harnesses the power of light to reduce damage received from ancient enemies. That's really cool. So what is that? do for me though like do I wear it instead of this guardian resist up guardian resist up but this is what like super guardian resist up or something like why is it green is that what it means but it gets rid of my uh, oh it gets rid of my uh, proficiency yeah huh who knows anyway uh, now that I have the new armor let's put it on and uh, let's just fast travel out of here we're gonna go to the great fairy and see what it takes to upgrade it we have uh, this barbarian armor look at me I look so cool and now this is like with my attack up like crazy I should have tried it out against one of these guys I do wonder if these guys will respawn uh, once there's a blood moon if so I will definitely come back down here and farm it uh, so let's go ahead and just, uh, we've done what we can do here. Uh, let me, let me go to the great fairy and see what she has to say about this. I always forget where it is. It's over here. Here we go. So yeah, we made a lot of progress this episode. We did three of the labyrinths. Well, the three labyrinths got the, the armor gear. We even got this thing here that I don't even know exactly what it does, but the, the the little headgear. I wonder if there's an, an, another two pieces or, to that. I don't know. But uh, so far we've done we've done great. We have done wonders here. 
I do need to get the stealth gear also. I, I know. I know. But we'll see. Let's go visit the fairy. I look amazing. And then this might be something that I want to die. Oh. I, I think he saw me. It's okay. Great fairy down here. Silent princess over here. Here we go. Lots of good stuff. Alright, let's talk to her. I am curious what it takes to upgrade this before we leave. Please enhance my clothing. Yes, I can greatly enhance it. Enhance away. So, we... Yeah, I, I see all this. The Sheik's Mask times three. But no. Uh, oh, by the way, I do have a full set of the Wind Waker stuff uh, right here. Uh, it takes star fragments to and opals to upgrade them. I'm not ready to do so yet. Line, oh, geez. Lionel Horns and... Okay. So I gotta kill some Lionels to get this. Shouldn't it be so bad? But that's uh, that's cool. We'll deal with that next time. Or, you know, probably not next episode. But we'll we'll handle something like that next time. Um, with these, you know, Ancient Core, I can upgrade these a little bit. I don't have enough Ancient Cores to upgrade them all to the next level. Uh, with the cold, you know, did we get it done at all? Did we upgrade it at all? We need red choo-choo jellies. We probably have enough to do all of these. So let's go ahead and upgrade mm. the cold stuff a little bit. Ah! I don't know what else I'm going to use red choo-choo jellies yeah. for. I want to get like the Ocarina of Time set. I think I just need the pants for those and then upgrade those. So this, so the, we got one of those. I have heard about set bonuses. You tell me every time I'm here. Enhance away. All right. So talker. Um, I got this one. Yeah, red choo Yeah, sure. Let's just do these. Mm. Here we go. Do your thing. And also, I'm going to need the stealth armor, of course, from... I think it's this village, isn't it? Or is it from... I think it's from this one. Snow Quill Tunic. Excellent. And enhance away again one more time on these uh, these trousers here. Here we go. So, yeah, I need to get, like, two more Lionel Horns. Which is basically me going to kill Lionels. Which sounds scary, but I can maybe do it. Alright, let's see if she can enhance the snow stuff again. The heat stuff, I need uh, more fireproof lizards and I'll be able to handle the heat stuff. Uh, this, I just need more ancient cores. Um, this, man, diamond for the diamond circle. I don't know about this diamond stuff. I need to figure out where all this stuff is. The snow quill, uh, we actually do have enough to do the snow quill stuff again, so let's mm. do it. I'm wondering if I want to dye the uh, the barbarian stuff to a different color. I might want to do it. The red looks cool. All right, enhance again. Yes, please. Uh, we got this one again. Snow quill. Yes, please. I have stuff for all this. So I need to go kill some Lionels. I don't know if I'll do it on camera or during my free time. I've killed one already. Uh, enhance away. One more time. How about it? For this next one, I need fire keys wings, but eight of them, and sun shrooms. I have sun shrooms, but not enough fire. Mm. But I don't know if I want to go on for another whole, ah. you know, thing. Mm. Anyway. Thank you. Ma. I'll finish. Let's take a look. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. All right. See you later. Ma. <laughs> So now, but now that I do have a new set of armor, we should go take a look at what all the dying options are, uh, just so that we know. 
Um, I'm curious. Also, I'm I'm also very curious what the set bonus is for this uh, the snow stuff. So let's uh, equip, equip, and equip. We have unfreezable. That's really cool, man. If I can get some like uh, un like something where I cannot be electrocuted, I'll, I'll definitely do that. That'd be so cool. But yeah, this uh, this barbarian armor is very good. Uh, attack up like this is going to be amazing. Three attack ups. Um, I, I probably can't withstand the cold in this, but who cares, right? Fire key swings to do it again, but I don't really want to do it again. So let me go ahead now. Uh, last but not least, we're going to travel to Atino Village. This will be like probably the last thing that we do in today's episode. We're going to travel to Atino Village. Or well, maybe uh, the monster seller dude is there. I'm curious about that. We could see if... Uh, at the far reaches of the continent, there is a being that trades in heart containers and stamina vessels. What does that mean? For what? What does he do? <laughs> what does he do with them? Trades them in for what? Grandeurs of boons. Like, can you get them back? <laughs> can you get them, like... <laughs> anyway, this has been a long episode, but I, I, I've had fun. We've done a lot. Some of the more like lengthy, combat-based, tedious things I like to... Uh... Is he over there? I don't see him. Oh. What? Okay. I don't see him. I don't think he's here. That's okay. He shows up at different places sometimes. Kilton is his name. So I'm here to die to see what the options are, the color options for this to diet. Let's see. Hugh do you do? Alright, twenty rupees. Yes, die. Here we go. So let's take a look at what options we have for this barbarian set. Uh, because I might want to diet. Look, I look so cool there. Um, but Whole outfit at once. Choose your dye color. Go ahead and change clothes. Choose a color. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're changing his tattoos and the splats on him. Red looks really cool. Uh, purple looks cool too. Um, oh wow! And it's also a shade through his hair. The red looks really cool to me. Looks like blood. Uh, the yellow is probably the worst because it blends in too well with his skin. The white looks kind of cool, especially for the skull and his hair. The white looks really cool. I might go with that. The black, I mean, black looks like what you would expect it to look look like. The orange again, uh, this one I think blends in even worse than the yellow because it's too close. The yellow at least, well, I don't know. Dark blue, I mean, it's okay. That's okay. Green is what I would look, kind of what I would expect, kind of Christmassy. The purple, yeah, you know, pink. Oh, this one's the, the crimson. Crimson matches like perfectly with it. I would rather go red than crimson because look at the bright red in the hair. The light yellow. The brown. I mean, I don't know. The gray. I think my favorite is probably the white for the way that the skull looks. Uh, I think that makes the skull look really cool. I like how it's like a different pattern each time. But the red, I think, is is really, really cool. It makes him look more like a barbarian than anything. Um, and the green kind of looks cool too. Like kind of kind of a nice contrast. The blue is interesting because my tattoos aren't blue with it. It makes it really weird. I wish I wish that my tattoos were blue alongside the tattoos are like purpley or pink. I don't understand why they didn't do blue tattoos. I'm struggling. What should I do? White? I think I'm going to go red, honestly. The, the bright red to me is better than crimson. Crimson looks okay, but the bright red I think is where it's at. So let's do it. Here we go. Choose five ingredients. How about five apples? All right, here we go. Hold my breath. So this is what we look like now. When I come out, I'm gonna look way better. Nice. I'm happy with the choices I've made. All right, thank you. So I think he looks really cool with the red. 
Especially with the, the, the back of his head being so bright red. That's really cool. Uh, let me take a look at what else he has, though. Uh, I'm just really curious. I want to die. I want to take a look at my ice clothing. Uh, so let me. Okay, no thanks. Hold on. Let me let me switch to my ice based clothing. Um, you know, I already looked at the ancient clothing to see what I wanted to dye it to. Um, if we take a look at the I, and I've already dyed the flame breaker. I made it blue because I thought the blue looked really cool. Uh, but let's take a look at my ice based clothing. We see that it's it's has like some yellow flare. Uh, some good clothing all around, but I want to see if I can maybe make it like really stand out since I'm already here uh, Yes die here we go Let's see how this goes. Let's see. I can be really fashionable. Let's see if this is gonna work for me All right, so we see right now it's kind of yellow it has some yellow flare and whatnot. We got some red tattoos Let's see how this changes. Okay, so the the yellow flare doesn't change the yellow would look really cool in uh, the blue. Like, it's, I'm going to be in like a lot of like bright blue places, but red would also stand out in the blue. blue. The dark blue would look kind of like I blend in in the blue. Crimson, pink. Pink looks really cool. <laughs> I might do pink for this. I'm just trying to think of something to make it like stand out. Like the bright. Like I, if I want to be rescued, I want to go like yellow or uh, orange, right? Or or red. We could do green. We could really do green. That would look cool. I'm just trying to think. Some of these darker colors wouldn't. I mean, won't be too colorful. Right now, I'm stuck either between uh, this this blue, uh, this yellow, or green. Green looks cool because it's kind of like it goes well with the yellow. The yellow goes well because it's already yellow. But um, I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking to myself the green would look really cool but maybe the crimson too this is more Zack Scott color though and this would stand out in the blue let's do another one that's red or what about the pink <laughs> the pink looks good but I don't know what about the dark no nah, we already th talked about the dark the orange I don't like the orange the yellow would definitely stand out I think I'd rather go with the red the red red whoa 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 why did it change oh that's that's what it is normal okay All right, 20 rupees. So here we go. I have to, I've died two things red now. And I don't even remember if I've died the climbing gear. But we can take a look at it. Nicely done. I'm looking good. I think I look okay. Wait. Wait, did I die? Hold on. Did I die the whole... Wait, I think I messed up. I think I messed up. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I did die the... Well, you know, that's good because I... This is already red. I can't believe I didn't... I forgot to dye the pants. I can't believe I forgot to dye it. I, I should have noticed something. So, yeah, I forgot to put on the freaking pants. Uh, okay, equip that. Equip that. That's red. And now these are... White. Ah, sorry. Let's do it one more time. Thankfully, you know, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. Here we go. I guess you could, you really could pick and choose your, your clothes color. I want to go ahead and dye this all at once. So that, that's, you know what? That's really interesting. If you really wanted to have different pants color, you could really do that. So let's see what we want to dye here. So I totally forgot. Here we go. Sorry. Blue, red. Yeah, I think I like red. Red stands out pretty well. Green looks cool too now that I look at it with the, with the full suit. Blue looks good. I think I blend in too well. The red and the green both look really cool. Let's go with the red, you think? I think I'm still stuck on the red. But right now I have white pants, which is really interesting. I kind of want to do red and blue. That would be so cool. Purple looks cool too. Let's stick with the red. Man, you you really could do different colored pants if you if you wanted to. You could uh, you could totally just get, or I can buy multiple sets of these. But you could do a different color of pants. All you would do is wear a different, you know, wear these pants with a different thing that you're dying blue. But I'm gonna go ahead and go all red. I think I'm just gonna go all red. Man, that's so creative though. I could definitely put those on with something else and dye them blue, and then see how that works. 
Let's do that. Actually, I'm, I'm excited about that idea. About not having one that totally matches. That would be really cool. So we'd have the red at the top and the blue at the bottom with this whole gear. So this is... Uh, sorry for the lengthy episode, but this is this is exciting to me. And so what I would do is I would put on something that's already blue. Um, and I would keep these pants. And then I'm pretty sure... I would dye this all, and then I would do... Oh, I need to talk to him. All right, here we go. 20 rupees, not a big deal. So this is going to be really fun. Uh, so let's wait up here, and I think, you know, I'm just going to dye it blue because it's already blue. Uh, I, I've already dyed the set blue, but the pants are totally different. So they do the whole outfit at once. So choose a color. This is how you would get two different colors. So blue is already good for me, so let's just do it. I can't use apples anymore. I don't understand. Oh, they have to be blue. I get it now. That's really interesting. Okay. So now check this out. This is really cool. So that's blue. I mean, we know that that's blue. We, we, we had the top part blue already so okay here we go so let's see now check this out all I got to do now is look at my gear and this is gonna be so cool so uh, all of my snow gear together look at this look at me I look really cool I got red and blue that's really cool for my snow gear I think it looks great and a little yellow in there too at the top look at that that is a sight to see I'm pretty happy with the way that this has turned out. I kind of wish my hair were blue. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? I think so. We could probably do the same thing with the barbarian barbarian set if we really wanted to. Like we could have like the leg tattoos different colors or whatever than this. That way, you know, like I could have like the red and the hair, but yeah, I don't know. I, I like it all red like this. That looks pretty good. Pretty pretty classic. Anyway, guys, it's been a long episode. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next time. Uh, I think we're gonna go into the Gerudo area. And have some fun with that. So thanks for watching and goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.